In this video, we will be changing this thermostat out for an Ecobee light. First, we're going to turn the furnace power off. Now we can take the thermostat off of the wall and start disconnecting the wires. It's always a good idea to take a picture of where the wires go. This is a dual fuel heat pump with an indicator light, for which is L and an outdoor air temperature thermistor, which is S1 and S2. Since the Ecobee light uses the local weather, you do not need to hook up those terminals. Now we can take the thermostat off of the wall. Now we can pull the thermostat plate off of the wall. These wires we will not use, so I'll tape the ends and, and wrap them around the thermostat wire. The customer did opt to use the trim plate to cover the back because the thermostat back plate was not removed before painting. I already have the step bit on me, so that's what I'll use to drill the holes. There is a stud behind here, so the anchors are not necessary. I use the built-in level to level it. Now I can connect the wires, sticking the wire in here, then pushing down the tab. I can start setting this up now. So these are the terminals that are connected, which is correct. So I'll click yes. And I do want to energize the reversing valve on cool, which is important that you select this properly. This is if you have an O terminal, on heat is if you have a B terminal. I do not want the heat pump and auxiliary heat to run simultaneously because this is a natural gas backup. Otherwise, you can kill the compressor if it is turned on. And I will set the lockout to 30 Fahrenheit, and it's only a single stage. The name, you can change to whatever you want. I just entered the Wi-Fi. So now this thermostat is configured, and I'll test the equipment. The system is functioning as intended. So this was installing an Ecobee light on a dual fuel heat pump system.